B, satu, satu, B, satu, ya, oke. Okay. video Lauren Mark here and today we're gonna show you how much street food you can get for just ten dollars which is equivalent to two hundred thousand rupiah and we are here in the Mentang area where our apartment lives it's actually one of the bigger ones there and we are very excited to try some food right yes we are we are also very excited whether there will be some vegetarian options because maybe some of you already know that I'm not eating any meat We'll see, we'll find out today. Actually, that's the Marta shop where we ate previously. So as you see, the street here is very busy. And with that, all the sellers and vendors come here and just try to sell their goods, right? Right. What have you seen so far? You have a lot of options of fruit and also some nasi goreng, mi bakso, bakso, mi bakso. There is definitely something to check out. We are already very hungry, so we, de we decided to start with Badrong Kito to just get some food into our belly. Maybe some nasi goreng, we will see what's on their menu. I started off very easy with a nasi goreng ayam to build up like a base level of hungriness and then we're gonna proceed with all the street vendors. So we have some broccoli, some I think gravy, some chips, some rice and over here we have the popular crackers, nasi goreng ayam, tomato, cucumber. Very good. The sauce is very delicious. So I don't know actually what you do with the crackers, you just eat them. But I use them like nachos. I just put some nasi goreng on it. And then I just combine the cracker with the rice. Oh, the rice is so good. It's so fresh. Definitely a very recommended place to eat. All right, we have 55,000 off our bank. 145,000 left for some street food. I'm very excited to see how much we can get and how full we will get. So we found our first vendor where we want to buy something and I think he's doing some fried fruits. So we're gonna try and see what he eats out. Hello boss. Banana. Pisang? Okay. What's that? Banana? Singkong. Singkong. Singkong goreng. Pisang goreng. Pisang, yeah. Okay, pisang. Yeah. Okay, let's find the quiet spot. I think the bench over there is really nice. And we're gonna try all this goreng fruits we bought here. We had to escape the blazing heat of Jakarta here under a tree with some shadow and we're gonna try Lara is gonna try the first piece. We don't know what it is. And I, I just know some vocabulary in Indonesian like pisang, apel, nananas. But this one I don't understand. Maybe it's potato. It kind of tastes like potato. Look at this. It looks like potato, it tastes a little bit like potato, but I don't think it really is potato. It tastes like mashed potato. Mashed potato? 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guys, please comment down below what this is. I just spotted this uh, bench and the shade. Okay, this one is for you because I'm not sure what this is. It's like cabbage, literally. I think it's cabbage with just dough and butter, right? Yeah, he said pizza. Deep fried banana. <laughs> Deep fried banana. Yes. Is it still hot? No, it's it's cold. No, it's but cold. It's still good. Mm. And I'm happy that we took five of it. <laughs> Next one. I'm gonna open this open up. Open it. Okay. Looks like chicken nuggets. <laughs> I don't know what that is. The inside doesn't taste like anything, I would say. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like the banana one, but not as sweet. I'm very confused what it is. It even looks a little bit like banana. Maybe it's tofu. <laughs> Maybe it's tofu as well. This one isn't salty at all. So this one has actually no taste. Like, no, try. It tastes a little bit like banana. Cheaper version of a banana. We are having some viewers, yeah. <laughs> All right, we had this delicious greasy dessert for 10,000 rupees, and so we have now 60,000. We oh no, 65,000. We spent it already from the 200,000 rupees, and we're gonna look for something else now. We want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's episode. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. Whether you are interested in photography, videography or cooking Italian food, Skillshare got it all. Currently we are watching the class of Kelis, who is a chef and songwriter. In her class Creative Cooking, Simple Sauces to Elevate Every Meal, she teaches how the right sauce can elevate the taste of the food to the next level. And you know that street food is all about sauces. A key takeaway for us was how we can implement the popular Indonesian food guava into a delicious sauce. Skillshare is created specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1000 of our subscribers to click the link down in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare to explore your creativity today. Goreng mantan. What is goreng mantan? Comes with a ton of chili, some sauce, and this fried stuff, which I can't identify, but I'm gonna try it. Nak? Enak, Mister. Hmm? Goput. Okay, this is very spicy. Very spicy. <laughs> it tastes right. I feel some salt. A little lot of pedas. A lot of spice here. I'm pretty convinced this is some kind of tofu. It's vegetarian, for sure. He's doing with the chili. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not used to this, but it's so hot. <laughs> I think it's cheese, cheese and chili. Hmm. I guess it's cheese and chili. Chili cheese sauce. Chili cheese sauce. Huh. Sayamao Sato Gross Manga. Actually, the juices are great for 15,000. It's like 90 cents, 80, 85 cents, I don't know, euro cents. Uh, they're pretty delicious. I 
think we bought some mini nananas. Ananas. Mini nananas? Huh? Sorry. In Indonesian it's nanas. Delicious. Delicious mini, mini snack. Effort. We are at 130,000 rupees right now. And I'm feeling very full. I don't know how you feel, Lara. Full. Full. But there are 70,000 rupees left. I don't know if we can spend it now. We decided we will quit the food tour right here. We have 70,000 rupiah left. And if we calculate it that each dish is between 5 and 15,000 rupiah, we have still like five to six, seven dishes left. We can try on the streets. As you see, the street food area is very, very cheap here in Manteng. But we are full. We can't eat further more. What do you say? As a German, it's very impressive that you can just go to the street and be full afterwards and not even paying $10 for it. Yeah, so we so. paid 130,000. How much is it, Dara? I think it's 7 euros. 7, 8 euros. 8 dollars maybe. Yeah. And both of us together are full and we enjoyed the food very much. It's delicious food and fresh fruits and definitely yeah. good food overall. I hope. You enjoyed the vlog today. It's very loud here in Jakarta again. And we see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye.